perfection. One who could rule the world. I thought that I could never be that one. Me with my high cheekbones, wide nose and skin the color of dirt. No one ever told me those things could be beautiful. You don't know me. Blue eyes and blonde hair. In fifth grade, me and Joy and Terika were hanging out by the parallel bars. <laughs> Talking about jelly bracelets and boys and Madonna. We had each other. We sat back and watched the white girls become in their own private club. Leaving us invisible, blending into the dirt beneath our feet. You don't know me. Moved to Texas the next year. First racial slurs. Ching chong, ching chong. You Indians stink. Go back home. Me, defenseless. Small town shelter of my mind taken down by these boys. And sex on their minds. A combination that oozed from their armpits, their lanky bodies. <laughs> you don't know me. Boy. I wanted their eyes to lay upon me the right kind of way. To learn they'd only bore holes into my hips, my waist, my blossoming chest. You don't know me. Boys. I knew I didn't love them. Only wanted attention. So it was in those first friendships. Ninth grade. We were joined at the hip. They called us the Siamese twins. <laughs> she would give me these awesome mixtapes I'd put on repeat again. Songs about girls loving girls. <laughs> repeat again. <laughs> we can touch, touch our girl cheeks and we can hold hands like paper dolls. <laughs> One day, she looked at me and she said, your eyes are so black. I can't see into them, but they're beautiful. When we were together, everything took on this magic, like the skies opened up and flowers were brighter. We'd, <laughs> we'd laugh about silly things, and we'd walk through these gray hallways triumphant. We didn't know it yet, but we loved each other. No, me? We had no examples, just this thing between us, like water, holy water. That day that our fingers touched, I was handing her a book, and our fingers rested upon each other just for a moment, just like that, long enough to feel that we were together, and our bodies fell away, and it was like holy water. One day we kissed, and it was like rain, a storm flowing in me and through me and around me, like a bagyo brewing, a rainstorm torrential, washing it all away. And I wondered if this is what home felt like. Holy water. This is dedicated to my Lola, Paciencia Muyargas, rest in peace. Poem for Lola. Give me your vision, Lola. Those glowing forms you conjure through your glass eye, not the real one sheathed over like a veiled fortune ball. As we sit together, laughing at nothing at all, I hold your fingers so small, sand falling into the seashell of my hand. Teacher, mother of ten, Wife, the noble colonel who continues to live in your dreams. 
You have begun your slow wilt towards grasses I have never laid my head upon. Sleep is uncanny, a respite from the memories that will not come, the thoughts that will not complete themselves. They float in the air between us like the old dust brought up from old photo pages, the electric fan pouring them to our faces. They float like gossamer tangled between us. Give me your memories, Lola, the gathering of trinkets and forget-me-nots. I will dust and shine their surfaces, aching to be seen and touched by any human hand. Will you reach back where words hang, unfettered as rain on a single spider's silk? Will you help me weave a history, a denialuk of our dreams, for those unborn to dream upon? Give me your words, Lola. I will handle them as a jeweler. Find facets of the stars, blemishes, disfigurations, or fossilized the pieces of myself I have always sought. I will handle them as a grandchild, an endless search of her origins, hands open to the stardust that falls whenever words fall from your mouth.